I woke up in the morning, and this is what happened, as they say in those uh, clickbait titles, covered in dust and dirt. After a night of not very heavy rain, I find this morning the whole boat is covered in this dirty kind of uh, very fine sand or soil or whatever it is. And uh, that I suppose I had better just clean off very quickly before the little sand grains or whatever they are get ingrained into the deck. Also, uh, particularly at the front of the boat, there is a very fine kind of rust on the boat. And that is from when I was cutting the steel pipes and the, the, the metal bits, whatever, were falling on the deck. And so to try and get these off, I used this uh, product to buy in the local ironmongers. And uh, it's called uh, Des Oxidant, which I, I take that to be antioxidant, but really it's a uh, rust remover, I suppose. You would call it rust remover and it works a treat and uh, it actually works as a, as a kind of bleach bringing up the deck a little bit to its uh, original color so i have uh, now given it uh, one wipe down and the next thing is to give it a uh, squirt a uh, good old blast of water from the toes. And you can see the, uh, the dirt is coming off a treat. This is actually the second blast because I gave it a blast before I put on the uh, uh, rust remover stuff. So I'm giving it now uh, a second uh, hose down with the hose. Um, I wish I had bought one of those uh, expandable hoses that you can buy back in England. This is just a regular garden hose and it's uh, Pretty heavy duty, but difficult to store. All the same, it uh, does work a treat and uh, bring up a bit of the uh, colour back to the boat. Uh, talking of which colour, you can see on the boat next door that uh, hasn't been touched for quite a quite a number of years, and uh, the sand has got ingrained into the dirt. But back to this one, yes, it's coming a bit up a bit better and. Uh, the thing of the colour is, um, I did actually paint it a bit. It was painted by the original owner professionally uh, a few years back. That was uh, a few years before I bought the boat. And the colour tends to fade. It tends to fade a bit in the, uh, the hot uh, Spanish sun. So here we are, coming up a bit uh, nice and clean. Well, cleaner than it was before, that's for sure after giving it what I call the antioxidant treatment. And we can uh, walk along the deck, uh, past the uh, standard issue garden hose from the local hardware shop. And we can see uh, that um, it's uh, a bit cleaner all round and cleaner up in the bow. I've got rid of a bit of the, the rust stains that were there. And in fact, I'd like to get rid of all this dirty marks on the deck, which are caused a bit by uh, working on the foredeck and cutting bits of wood and doing on jobs and things like that. And I'd like to repaint it. Uh, the question is, what is the actual colour? It was painted professionally by the uh, original owner, but that was a few years ago. And the colours tend to fade in the sun. However, he did say it was a colour called uh, huesos rotos, which means broken bones, by international. But I asked international and they said there was no such colour. So I assume it is a kind of bone coloured ivory. There are two types of ivory, or marfil as it's called in Spain. One is a yellowish colour and the other is more of a pinkish colour. So I guess this would have been the pinkish colour. And I did actually rub it down the back end of the boat and, and paint that myself. And that was in marfil from uh, international. So in the end, I, I painted the after end of the boat, um, Marfil by International Top Black. And that is a, a wonderful paint and came out a wonderful colour. Of course, it uh, ended up a little bit of a, a two-tone kind of uh, colour effect because I only had enough paint left to do the after 
upper deck and the after uh, rather the forward upper deck section that remained the original faded color 